Hey, and welcome to this episode of Wrench. On this episode, I'm going to be cutting up a perfectly good and brand new quarter panel I just installed. So I'm at the point of this build where I really have to start thinking about packaging. And what I mean by that is how am I going to fit all of this stuff into this little frame, especially some of the higher tech items. So today we're going to start figuring out where to put the condensers for the classic retrofit electrocooler AC unit. This is one of the condensers, which is actually from a Porsche Boxster. So I have a pair of these and I have to find somewhere on this car to put them. Now on the Grey Ghost, I've got one of these tucked in front of the left front wheel under the big RSR flare. What I'm hoping to be able to do is definitely at least that, if not put two of them on the one side of the car. Now to make my life a little bit easier, I'm going to be cutting the rear quarter panel. Now why would I do that? Well, I'm already gonna be putting rear ST flares on the quarter panel. So I'm gonna trim the bulk of the quarter panel today and then when it comes time to actually weld these things on, hopefully on Saturday or hopefully in the next few days, as soon as I can get a hold of a certain person. I also have another whole video that I've shot with uh, Buddy's car doing some flares, so I'll be posting that when that thing's done. Before I fully get into today's episode, I wanted to show you something cool that just came in. I put a whole bunch of new products on the wrench.com store, which is at wrench.com slash store, uh, including this cool apron. So if you want to represent the brand, let me step back a little bit here, represent the brand and, and keep your t-shirt and your, your waist uh, safe and have a place for your tools. This apron is a great place to do it. It's pretty inexpensive. I wanna say I think it's like 25 bucks and you too can own a little bit of wrench. All right, let's get into this thing. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do. Before I get into this, I wanna follow up with the question that everybody's been having about these quarter windows. I am going to continue to develop I'm hoping that I'll have something for you guys in the next couple of months. So let me show you what I've done here. I've installed a better switch and a better quarter window motor. And now look how awesome. Here's the inside. So stay tuned for cool stuff in the future. So these are the 911 ST flares that I'm gonna be putting on this car. And the loose plan today is to get these things pretty close to where they're gonna be. You know, I'll, I'll get them clamped in and they're gonna be sort of where they're gonna live on the car. I will then scribe a line on the body itself all the way down. And then based on that line, I will cut, I'll probably give myself like an inch or so where I can cut the actual panel off and have a little bit of wiggle room in terms of positioning it when the time comes. So right now the car is totally slammed, the engine's in it, I have the coilovers all the way down because I wanted to see how the uh, tires would look kind of tucked into the wheel wells. So I'm going to jack the car up a little bit, get the coilovers to pop a little bit, probably put my rear uh, bumpers on the factory ones so I can get a nice alignment with these flares. Hi Ben. Then scribe, then cut, and then we're going to talk about where to put these condensers. So I'm going to throw the OEM bumpers on now before I put the car back down. And this is where I wanna thank you guys once again for your generosity. This is a kit that I got from the Amazon wish list. I know that I wanna use M8 by 125 by 20. These are the perfect bolt to put my rear bumper sides on. And so thank you guys once again for this. It's, it's invaluable to have a nut and bolt kit like this that's good quality stuff. I also have a, a yellow zinc plated version that I'll be using for more of the finish side. But um, yeah, again, once again, you guys rock like a hurricane.
is gonna be a nice profile. Not too huge, but nice to have some hips. So as you guys can see, this is what it looks like when it's done. There's a nice primer line here. I basically just overlaid it on the fender and then sprayed some primer. So I've got this pretty sharp line. Honestly, I'm probably gonna come inside like to here. Well, that's probably about an inch and a half. And I will cut this whole strip off here. Now another method would be to spray the whole thing with primer and then use a sharp scribe to make a line, which is what I did on this side, just so I could show you guys another option. But basically that is where my flare is and I will cut to the inside of this. Okay, I am measured, I am taped. Now again, this doesn't have to be perfect. This is not precision. This is, this flare is gonna end over here somewhere. You know, let's make sure we cut on the inside of the blue. Okay, we are officially gutted. That's a big old hole there. Ready for a flare on each side. And um, the important part is now I have all kinds of room for activities. So my big plan is if I can, I'd love to be able to fit a cooler here and a cooler here and just run a line between the two so they're parallel. And of course run the lines up through the tunnel on that side, but we'll see how that goes. All right, it's kind of crazy though, I'll be honest. It's crazy to see this thing all gutted like that again. Okay, on first glance, this thing looks like it's gonna be great. Fits right up there in the wheel well. Really hard to hold the camera and do this, but I'll show you guys in a second. What I've done here is I've marked the body. These are really thin tires, they're race tires. So real tires for this car are about 24 inches, and these are like 21 and a half or something like that, or 22. So I've marked the body where a tire would naturally fit that way and then this way up and down. So you can sort of see like a tire will fill about this much more wheel well and I have to just basically bring it here. So this is the real estate I have to work with and I will show you guys what I'm looking at right now. Now I'm doing something with my tail lights that I will reveal in a future episode, but I just need enough room, hopefully, to come in through the back. I don't even know if I will have enough room to do what I want to do. But um, in the meantime, this has three connecting points. So this has got three spots where bolts can go through. And I think what I want to do is I'll put one through the rear engine compartment wall here, and then I'll probably end up welding on studs for nuts on this side. Alternatively, if I could get a tool in there, I could put rib nuts in here. So I could drill in and then rib nut, which is kind of what I have on the Grey Ghost. So I may do that instead. I just haven't figured it out yet. If I get this thing tucked up in here nicely, then I should have no problem. Now there's gonna be a fan on this side and there's gonna be rubber bushings on the inside basically separating it from the chassis of the car. So there's like a little bit of airspace. And I don't know, maybe I'll have a push fan or a pull fan or something, and then I'll have another one up ahead. And then basically I'll run them in serial. So the air conditioning line will come in, it'll go through one cooler to the other one, and then back uh, to the front of the car.
I've got these sweet spacers that actually came with this car. Looks like they hand machined them and they fit perfectly with these M6 bolts that I'm using. So I've got like perfect spacers for this. She's hung like a horse. Wait, what? I'm gonna put a spacer and a, uh, no, maybe I'll rev nut. If I can rev nut, I will. How about that? Because this is going right into the frame rail. If I can rev nut, great. Otherwise, I can weld a nut on top. So I have made a decision. I'm actually going to weld these studs on the car versus rev nuts for a couple of reasons. Number one, I only have Imperial rev nuts. So my M6 equivalent is, well, I don't know what it would be, like three eighths or something like that, quarter inch. Um, and I don't wanna do that. I wanna keep all the hardware metric because I have these beautiful hardware kits that you guys got me and I wanna keep it all metric. Two, easier to undo if it's welded. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but basically if I just weld one side of this stud and I need to take it off. It's literally a pair of pliers. You go back and forth, it cracks it off. You hit it with a grinder. It looks like it was never there before. Whereas with a rib nut, you drill a hole, you've got a hole, and then it's really hard to get out if you decide to move it or do something else with it. And you know, then you gotta weld up the hole. It's a whole thing. So I'm going welding for now. And it'll be, you know, it's, it's a high possibility that I have to move this thing once the taillight situation happens. So. Uh, let's weld these things up. All right, there is my mount. Let's see if you guys can see this kind of close. There's the captive nut. Like I said, it'll come right off. If I twist this thing up, it'll just pop right off. And then here is this side. And you can see I've just got a nut on it for a spacer, just spacing it out from the body. So this will live on the car. Um, I'll have some space here so the air can travel through. Then there's gonna be enough space for a fan to be on the outside here. Hopefully sucking air through. Now it's time to do this one. Okay, here we are. We've got some final fitments here. I shouldn't say that, not really final fitments, but this is exactly in the same location as the Grey Ghost version, so I know that one works. I've only got one of the bolts attached right now. It's gonna be really easy to put one right there, and then what I typically do is I'll build a bracket from the uh, torsion holder here, because I actually don't have torsion tubes anymore. Uh, to this third one, but I don't need to do that right now. And then I basically have to get the fans and everything all sorted out and get that all mounted. But uh, really happy with it. Let me throw these flares on, at least temporarily, and just kind of see what kind of space I have. But I mean, you can see how much room there is. There's tons of room for a wheel to be in there and not worry about the uh, air conditioner. So I'm excited. I should have ice cold air in this thing, which is a joy as you're cruising through Death Valley. Necessary mod to do 
It dawned on me the other day that I kind of had to get the condensers in there before I welded the flares on because I thought it would be way easier to do it. And I was right. I totally agree with me. That was really a good idea. Anyway, sorry for the big delay. Uh, I've been waiting on some parts. They've been delayed and uh, I'm doing what I can when I can do it. But as always, throw me a high five. Let me know what you think of the project. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, if you want to join the group of people that are helping this very channel at wrench.com slash high five, there are a myriad of ways you can help this very channel and you can help that car get built. And as always, be good to each other. I'll see you next time.